Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2 with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Poogie. So, um, this is a very interesting level, is behaving, the second of these digging levels. Firstly, unlike we're digging it, we have to deal with A, the uh, spitting Audrey tunes underneath the ground, and also um, the hammer guys, um, who will pound you into the ground. However, the beehives. If you approach them, a whole swarm of bees will come out. Not just one, but a whole swarm. This makes this level a lot harder by comparison to digging it, just for that. Um, though, it is also home to um, a very interesting shortcut to get a coloured gem. And we will see that in a moment. But firstly, we have to deal with these annoying things. Again, the bees will go away after a while. I do say after a while, so yeah. Um, didn't miss a regular box there, but never mind. Um, so uh, that's the main thing we have to deal with here, the bees. And also the nitros, because you cannot dig under them in case uh, Crash actually uh, takes damage. One of the things you can do is that while you are diving, you are actually invincible. Yes, that is a nice little re reminder. While you are diving into the dirt, you are invincible. However, that is not the case when dealing with these bees. Yes, seriously. And I only have, at the time of recording of this, I only had, sorry, uh, five lives. Which was not great, and I do actually get the game over screen here. Which is weird. The game over screen for both Crash... Um, uh, Two and the woman two features Uka Uka. Seriously, although he's in the shadow in those games, but yeah, Uka Uka, who doesn't actually make his debut until the next game, uh, Crash Three, Crash Bandicoot Three, warped. So um, yeah, um, let's, let's get ourselves electrocuted, please. Okay, if I keep this up, I might as well skip ahead, which I don't like doing with my Let's Plays, but I might do with this one, given how um, annoying uh, behaving as a level is. I already lost a lot of lives in digging it in the previous episode, so there's that. I didn't even get the gem, for goodness sake, which I thought I did, which is very stupid of me. So, yeah. So, now, slide jump, and... Get past the thing. The other thing, the idols move a lot quicker in this level as well. One trick you can do is that you can try and uh, outwit the bees, sort of. I do say sort of because what does happen is that um, they will only come out of their hive once you're past the hive. So yeah, uh, as I said before, you are invincible when you jump out of a thing, uh, out of. Uh, in or out of the ground, so take advantage of that. Thank goodness I hit that checkpoint. If I hadn't, I think I would have been having to do something worse. So yeah, so jump in, you get out of there, and you know that guy went careening right into those boxes. So now, um, can I move? I don't want to go. And also you see there a bunch of nitros, um, and seemingly that how many I did not detonate them? I wonder why. Well, we can actually walk on top of these and actually go to a secret area. This is where the purple gem is in this 2D area. So yeah, a very interesting thing. It also has one of the, my least favorite things in the game, as we will see. Uh, so yeah, it's also very easy to die there, and I hadn't even got to the main gimmick of that level. So I will see you back there in a moment. Okay then, we're back. So, um, let's try this properly, shall we? I do have an Aku Aku mask, so at least that makes it a little easier. Although, you don't have to go through this level to get the um, actual colour gem. Seriously, I'm, I'll go over that. I did mention that previously, but firstly we have these annoying moles. Um, who, when defeated, will give us a... Bouncy Mushroom, and beyond here is the Purple Gem. Seriously! 
So if the purple gem is there, what's to the rest of the level? Well, we will have to deal with these blunderbuss using Cortex minions who will shoot um, these long-range missiles out of their guns. And also these apparently um, invincible armadillos until we actually um, ground, not ground pound, uh, body slam them. The crash is a barely flop move. So yeah, the annoying thing about these, um, um, dare I say, it, these stupid um, missile bullet things is that they are explosive. So yeah, although even if they were, they'd still kill you in one blow. But, and here's the bot here, it's a very good bot, um, I have the, um, the purple gem, yeah, for whatever reason, if you die outside of the level, as long as you don't quit behaving, that purple gem, as long as you get it, is yours to keep, yeah, seriously, even if you return to the previous checkpoint, you actually keep the purple gem, seriously, I'm not kidding, just a shame I'm losing lives left, right, and center because I don't want to do that. I want to keep that purple gem. Seriously. Um, the rest of the level, uh, by the way, the rest of that secret area with the fake nitro boxes um, is just that. Fake. Uh, there aren't any boxes there. The only thing there, aside from the enemies, are some more Wumpa fruit, really, and maybe some Wumpa's outside of boxes. So, yeah, nothing to miss there. Well, you know, we have both these annoying, um, Ori 2s and the, uh, things, so, yeah. Um, I do not want you spitting your explosive pellets on me, you annoying plants. So, what do we have here? Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go get our asses. Uh, hit. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Deal with it. So, with that said, slide jump. Jump, and yeah, the slide jump is a godsend in this level, especially in Ancient Trilogy, which is the one I'm playing, obviously. I could have just avoided that! Why did I not avoid that? Seriously! Why did I not avoid that? Don't you dare spit on me, you stupid plants. I am trying to finish this level, thank you very much, and I will try to do something. And that's why. Don't learn from your mistakes, why don't you, game? Or brain, whatever. And yeah! What am I gonna say about this? Get your ass kicked, game. It's what you're good at. Or is that my previous self? I don't know. I guess he's human error, so. Why don't I not take the. Um, thing? No, I do not want to get my ass kicked. I don't mean to body slam there, but never mind. More of these things, and I might want to keep jumping, 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 and there we go. And thank goodness I was able to find that uh, thing. Um, in the border stage, we have more nitros at the beginning. Um, any one ups that would be helpful because I lost a lot to those enemies there. Seriously, I don't want to lose any more. And yeah. Uh, no, you're not going to give me any, so be it then. Uh, and oh boy, towards the end of the stage we have more nitros. Again, don't bounce on them too much. Just be careful on where Crash is and you should be fine. Uh, yeah, as I say, we can only detonate them at the end. So there we go. That is the um, bonus stage. And now uh, we are back and hopefully we can do something about this. My goodness, I didn't put a thing there. And don't you dare! I see that purple hue there. That's a crystal if ever I saw one. So yeah, and a little up. Very nice. Jump over the gap and dive into the ground. Yeah. Can't say any more than that, really. Um, there is a hidden pathway in one of these levels, but it's not in behaving. It's actually in, um, dare I say, digging it. Seriously, so yeah. I dig carefully. Yes, I can. And over there is the nitro exclamation switch. So you have to be careful here because what can happen is that Crash can um, easily get killed 
if he's not careful because of his positioning and the positioning of the nitros. So yeah, and what do you know? I also got the box gem. Very cool indeed. So yeah, that's all of the boxes. So, and all the gems. So yeah, so I think I will actually go to the next level. I believe I... I don't know if I go to ru Ruination or Cold Hard Crash. Cold Hard Crash. Oh boy, I'm going to get to that level. But, yeah. So there we go. So I will see you in a moment when I go to the next level after Crash does his little dance. So the next level I will go to is uh, Hanging Out, the third and final sewer stage. And as its name suggests, there is quite a bit of... Um, there is uh, hanging in this level, including to a secret area, but I'll get to that. I don't do it in this episode, and I will explain later, but for now, yeah, is that off just like any other, um, um, um this, uh, sewer level with the eels and the uh, welding guys? So, yeah, um, so let's get out of there, and then, um, then beyond here, beyond the usual robots and uh, I say rolling barrels of supposedly toxic waste, we have this hole, and that will take us to the to the monkey bar stage of this level. And it is a lot harder than in the eel deal, let me tell ya. So, firstly, bounce on this box, bounce on the box, and then down we go. Now in this area we have, and again they were present in the eel deal, but they move a little quicker to these robots. So yeah, you may want to use the um, hold maneuver by pressing the circle button that will allow Crash to come to a complete halt. Indeed it is necessary against this one anyway, because uh, what this robot does, it kind of traverses outside of the monkey bars, so giving you enough time to actually move across. However, here we still have two of these things, so not so easy if you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, and more uh, spike robots here as well, and uh, I don't want to blow myself up. So let's move a little a bit away from the TNT boxes, and then move along here. I don't know if I want to do a slide jump, do I? Yeah, I do, and I'll take the hit from the thing, because there's a thing, there's a checkpoint, and uh, yeah. This robot goes in a kind of uh, square shape pattern, so yeah, if you run into it, definitely, if you can, that is, put up your um, feet. And then these robots, these move a lot quicker! Yes, um, aside from the middle one, which is going about normal speed, back and forth, back and forth. But yeah, that one, that one down there, that one is going in a right circle, I think. That is very annoying. I do not like that, if you can't tell, but it's still quite challenging. Again, that's probably why they have the, um, that maneuver where Crash puts up his feet so he doesn't actually um, uh, fall down, so to speak. So long as the uh, robot is a fair distance away from where Crash is, it should be fine. As I say, um, although I'm losing lives once again. Seriously, what is it with me and losing lives on a crash game? Again, I'm, I think I was just losing my head here. So yeah, I just decided to die. Might as well see what the game over screen looks like. Yep, there he is in all his gory um, ooka ooka. Although he's in the shadows. Okay then, we're back again. So, let's um, not die, please, too much. I already have enough debts on my mind from this game. I don't need any more. Uh, seriously, no. So let's go down here, where there are more of these things. Again, we have seen them before. So let's move up to the left, and then to the right. Indeed, drop down. And then, there we go. There's our Aku Aku mask. Indeed, slide across. And there we go. Yeah, with those boxes that can blow up. I did see these before, so let's see if I don't die to them this time. What is with the repetition with me? Seriously. I could have kept it! I could have kept it! What's the matter with me? I don't know. 
Anyway, down here, and um, hopefully I can do this without dying too much. If not, then I'm stupid. Yeah, seriously, so... Let's indeed get around here, then. And no, no, don't go back. If you go back, you die. That is the truth of the matter. So, let's not do that. Okay, there we go. Uh, then, we have to deal with this annoying robot. So, let's go... Uh, what's the point of getting stuck there? That's not fun. Never is it fun. So, now... More floaty robots. And wow. And more moving up and down. Yeah, we've already seen this. And, um... Let's see, can I slide jump? Mm, I don't know. There we go. Yes, we can. Oh, I did get stuck there, which is not good. And at the end, there's a bunch of boxes. If you want to get more Wumpa Fruit, definitely get them. And, and you need to get them anyway to get the box gem. Uh, that is the only gem in the hanging around, however... There are no um, hidden gem pathways, unlike in sewer or later. But we need the yellow gem for that, at least. Now here, there is an easily missable crystal. So I want to get the... Seriously, I didn't get it. Yeah, I missed the frigging crystal. Anyway, down here is where the bonus stage is. And let's see what this one's like. This one makes use of the body slam. So yeah. Unfortunately, I could not get on top of that box. No matter. All we need to do is spin these boxes and um, slam that. Now, here it can be annoying because uh, there's a bunch of nitros and you have to be careful where crash lands again. And also, I don't want to set up too many of these things. And at the very end, there are these. Um, I suppose I could have got on top of them, but yeah. Um, let's see, I think I broke all the- THERE WE GO! That was a very tough one, because I'm, I'm not sure about those bounce boxes. At least it was a little tougher than in Crash 1! And then, beyond- Here. Yeah. Some more robots. Well, can I go back for the- No, I did not see the thing. Seriously, that purple hue didn't give it away, man! Uh, well, I'm, I'll have to do that later. Be honest. And there's the nitro detonation switch. So do that, and uh, there we go. And then let's go through here. And at the end, there's one last eel. Of course, there is. Of course, there bloody well is. So I want to stay on this platform while he does the shocky thing. And then go up here. And there we go. At least I got the box gem. So yeah, take that gem, and I will uh, get the crystal off screen so on the next episode i believe i'll do cold hard crash i do not like that level so i will see you then goodbye oh and well, not goodbye before we see the crash dance again so yeah see you later